Hello, everyone. And uh, my name is Zhongyi Ling, and I'm the PhD candidate from the National Taiwan University, and I also research at the Zhonghua Telecom. So um, uh, in this research, we discuss how to use the extensive the telecom uh, data to uh, we to uh, combine with the sparse the vehicle uh, detect data to predict the traffic floor in the area without the camera, uh, which is uh, a form of the cross model uh, prediction. And uh, this presentation will last about uh, ten minutes. Okay, so uh, here's our online. We start with how we utilize the telecom data and why we need a cross model prediction. Then we uh, describe how we uh, collect the data set. Next, we present our proposed framework and how we uh, conduct the experiment. And uh, finally, we discuss the practical application of our uh, work. Okay, so in our uh, previous work, we utilized the extensive coverage of the mobile network to collect the user data on the select row section. And briefly, uh, we, uh, when users connect to the mobile network, they will generate a record like, like those show in the table. And uh, it has the, the time, their ID, and their GPS location information, something like that. And so we can accumulate this record at a fixed time interval, which we refer to as the telecom base floor in this presentation. So uh, this telecom base floor can serve as the alternative to uh, for the traffic floor in the area uh, without the uh, sensor or the camera. Uh, however, the telecom base we mentioned is obtained from the mobile user, right? So. So, which may not exactly uh, align with the actual traffic floor on the road. So, for example, uh, when we deploy a camera uh, for on a on road to capture the traffic floor, and uh, compared to the telecom base floor and the same location, we observe that the two floor, are, uh, although this two floor has a similar pattern, like the, uh, the orange line and the blue line. But uh, we observe that uh, uh, but there is still a gap between the between them because these uh, <coughs> these two floors are come from the different modality. Okay, so uh, so our goal is shift to use to the telecom based floor combined with the limited uh, vision based floor to make the prediction that close align with the actual traffic floor. So uh, by performing such a cross-model prediction, we can take advantage on uh, both uh, extensive coverage and uh, uh, ensure that the prediction are aligned with the actual traffic floor. Okay. So uh, in this research, we provide a data set like including a telecom based floor collect from the about uh, 15 uh, rock session and the vision based floor from collect, uh, collect from only uh, 10 10 camera uh, is very sparse, uh, which which these two uh, support our goal of cross model prediction. Um, to ensure that the accuracy of the vision based floor, we manually label the <coughs> uh, train data for the detection or the tracking algorithm, and then fine tune them for the Taiwan environment, uh, such as very dense uh, motorbike object. Okay. So we um, propose a framework to address such a complex problem. Um, we begin by pre-training the, the special temporal model for each modality data, and uh, <coughs> rather than training them separately, uh, uh, sorry, um, we, we, rather than training them uh, together uh, to, to prevent the bias toward a specific modality. So uh, this pre-trained model will be frozen and used as a feature extractor uh, in our framework. So um, allowing us to uh, extract a special, feature, special temporal feature from uh, each modality. Okay, so uh, we then develop a graph attention um, based uh, fusion model with the bipartite graph structure. Uh, specifically, we separate the data from uh, different modality. Uh, into the two distinct sides of the bipartite graph. Uh, this ensures that the data from one modality can only connect to the opposite uh, modality. Uh, focus on the interaction, uh, focus on the, 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 the real interaction across the modality and uh, <coughs> reducing the, the graph uh, complexity. So uh, we afraid that if we uh, 
uh, the feature is more uh, expanding. The, if we direct uh, use the graph uh, genome-based fusion, the time complexity will be more uh, very very huge. So, uh, the the graph attention mechanism is based on our technique uh, in our ICR paper, which can improve the efficiency of uh, handling special temporal data. Okay, so uh, following our uh, GM-based fusion model, we fit this uh, enhanced feature into a third spatial temporal model, uh, trained as a predictor to uh, generate the prediction of the all rock section. Okay, so, uh, but uh, in the training, we do not uh, directly uh, use the telecom-based floor as the ground truth. Uh, instead, if a rock section uh, has uh, <coughs> available version uh, like this, uh, Sorry. So uh, if a rock session has the available vision-based floor, we adapt it as a ground truth. Uh, otherwise, if a rock session uh, only has the telecom-based floor, we then use this uh, as a ground truth. Okay, so uh, after that, we design a join loss function, and uh, for the area with the uh, on with the vision-based floor, we uh, calculate the loss, fun uh, lo the loss value between the a prediction and a vision base floor denote as the L with the W uh, on the on the left side, and uh, for the area with the <coughs> without the vision base floor, we calculate the loss between the prediction and the take on base floor denote as the L with the uh, W slash O. So we then add a learnable parameter to adjust the impact of the uh, L with the W slash O, uh, ensure that the fr our framework. Uh, focus more on the loss between the prediction and the vision base floor. Okay, so uh, in our experiment, use the leave one out uh, validation where uh, we exclude one uh, vision base floor data point at each time and then test if the uh, prediction for the node align with the exclude uh, vision base floor. So uh, this is one of the prediction for a uh, rock in a rock section. Uh, the blue line we we consider that the vision based floor as the ground truth because we want to make the telecom based floor data uh, align with the vision based floor. So we consider the the vision based floor as the ground truth. So it's blue line, and uh, uh, the dot line uh, the, the the dot line uh, represent the uh, result uh, result from the special temporal model only. So and the solid line represents the result from the uh, integrate the, this special temporal model in our framework. As we mentioned, we use this special temporal model as the feature extractor or the, and the predictor. So we can see that the dot line is far from uh, the ground truth, right? So, <coughs> but while the special temporal model integrate into our framework, it's very close to the ground truth. Okay, so the uh, for the application, um, as our cross model framework can generate the prediction result very aligned, uh, cl aligned closely with the actual traffic, it makes our framework more practical for the re real world application like the cloud based, the web based uh, tra uh, transportation system, and uh, we integrate our model, uh, our framework into the real world transportation system for the city authority. For example, the prediction that can uh, provide more intuitive uh, traffic, traffic floor monitor. Uh, in, uh, additionally, we can uh, use this prediction as a, a threshold to act, uh, activate the traffic optimization strategy, like the uh, like the alternative, alternative route uh, notification or the switch the traffic signal uh, control uh, sig uh, control plane to optimize the traffic resource. Okay, so uh, thank you for listening, and uh, I hope you find this presentation informative, and thank you.